Hey, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and we have four grinders here. And what we're going to go over is what we feel are the best choices for grinders under $250. Not everybody has an espresso setup that requires something really high end. If you're just doing, you know, French press, drip, pour over, you know, you can get away with not spending five, six, seven hundred dollars. So let's start over here with the, the new Virtuoso Plus. It's the same as the old Virtuoso, except for it, it has a cool light down here that shines, uh, LEDs that shine on your container, the grounds container. And also it has a uh, digital readout right here for how many seconds it's going to run. And you can adjust it for however many seconds. You, oh, there we go, it is plugged in. I'm looking at the wrong cord. And there's the light. And then you just push the button. Now the range on this one is espresso, but not espresso like a non-pressurized portafilter, filter not like a Rocket, a Sylvia, a Nuova Simonelli, anything like that. This is for pressurized only. Um, a lot of the machines come with that, like the Brevels, the DeLonghi's. They come with pressurized baskets, and some of them come with non-pressurized. This will do pressurized because those baskets are more forgiving. And this will go all the way up to a pretty coarse pour-over or drip right on the edge of French press, too. So it gets right up there. Nice casing, stainless steel, stainless down here, a lot of weight into it. You know, it's a nice, it's a nicely built grinder. Uh, that's the Virtuoso, and that's from Barazza. Let's move over to the Encore from Barazza. Now this grinder doesn't go as fine as the Virtuoso. So this is well suited for somebody that's doing drip, pour over, French press, along those categories. It also has the grounds collector, and you can actually put a portafilter under there, and it turns on and off right here. You can put a portafilter under there if you want to use it for pressurized, and even on pressurized, it's on the edge. Push the button, it will come on, and then when you got what you want, you stop. This grinder is pretty versatile, but it's not, definitely not going to do, it's great for, if I was buying this grinder, I would want to be using it for pour over, drip, cold brew, something like that. Uh, this one goes a little bit finer. The OXO Brew. This grinder uh, ha actually has settings on it for how long it grinds right down in here. Oh, on these, this is where you make your adjustment for the fineness or the coarseness. And on this one, it's the same thing right up here. Now, this grinder uh, does stuff on the coarser side as well. You're not going to do espresso with this. Yeah, although it says fine over here, it does not go down to espresso. So again, stay in that drip, you know, pour over a range, maybe a cold brew, something like that. Stainless steel casing, uh, well, stainless steel clad. It has a little bit of stainless, the rest is plastic. It also has, that these two don't, it has a lock where you can take the hopper out, change the beans, put it back in. These are all conical burr grinders, these three. And then it has a grounds collection right down here. Stainless, pretty hefty, you know, holds quite a bit. Good for your drip. And remember though, you don't want to hold a lot. What you want to do is grind and use it right away. You don't want to store it. It's Ground coffee is best used within about 15, 20 seconds. Just get it over to the machine and start brewing. And then this is the uh, Eureka Filtro. Now this grinder uh, also will do, uh, it will do drip up to French press. It does the coarser. And it is a stepless grinder. These are step, you hear? Those are just steps. You can't go in between those steps. This gives you more control because it's infinite. And that's real important if, if it was espresso. This is not espresso, so it's not a big issue. This has also the gate valve if you want to take, close it off, take this out, swap, swap out your beans, and put this back. This has uh, hardened steel flappers. Conical, 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 flat. Also, it's got your grounds collection right down here, which is kind of nice because it's a chute that comes off for cleaning but the chute is kind of nice because it keeps the mess contained. So that is the grinder from Eureka, the Filtro. 
This is the on and off right here. You have to hold, hold it on. When you get what you want, you stop. There's no timer on this. Whoop, we did get a little bit right there. All right, so those are our choices. Um, I guess check out the, the, the reviews on each one of these. Just decide, hone in on what's going to work best for you. You know, this does a little coarser. This one goes a little finer in between. So, you know, there's a grinder for everybody. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get a decent grinder. If you're going to a high-end espresso setup, by all means, don't sk skimp on the grinder because that's the most important part. You won't get good results if you don't get a good grinder for espresso. Check them out on our website. Don't forget to like the video if you do like it. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching.